My interest in the guitar started, I would say, when I was about four or five, through programs like Top of the Pops and you know television and radio. Um, my father loved classical music, violin concertos and so on, all the classical violin concertos. So I was I was hearing music of all kinds, you know. But I can remember um, specifically Top of the Pops and just like the bands of the 1970s. And it's almost like it was, it's almost like, the, you know, I was attracted to it before my conscious mind was fully formed, you know. I, I managed to convince my dad to buy us an, a guitar, which was an acoustic guitar, which, you know, the action was, it was unplayable, like. I remember hearing Deep Purple on the radio, on a late night rock show on local radio in Newcastle and uh, being like, I mean thrilled, you know, I couldn't believe, it was Deep Purple, it was um, Black Knight, the live version of Black Knight by Deep Purple and I mean I could not believe the, the sound, I mean it just totally excited us, you know, and uh, and so I started investigating Deep Purple and Richie Blackmore, Deep Purple made in Japan. And then I, I found out later that, you know, around about that time that Richie Blackmore had left Deep Purple and made a band called Rainbow. So I then went and got this live Rainbow album, Rainbow on stage. And then I heard Hendrix. A guy brought a Hendrix album to the house, a friend of ours. And I heard, you know, Johnny Be Good and the Star Spangled Banner and Purple Haze, all live versions, you know. <laughs> where I had a small studio. I've always had a small little recording studio. So. And he was recording some songs and he walked in and he commented almost immediately that he was amazed that there wasn't an acoustic guitar in the house. Uh, shocked that I didn't have an acoustic guitar. And uh, and, I, and, and I was thinking, well, well, that's a good question. You know, why don't you have an acoustic guitar? I started looking for an acoustic guitar, found a really good one, an Avalon acoustic guitar, beautiful guitar, handmade in Northern Ireland and, uh, and I invested some money in a decent microphone and I started, you know, my guitar playing at home became acoustic recordings, you know, mess experimenting with the acoustic guitar and the first release that I did was an album called Homework which was 1991 and it came out on cassette. Then Slide Away happened, and then Magic City happened, and then uh, Late Show, an album called Late Show happened. Late Show is a strange album in its conception in that Late Show was the outtakes or the leave outs of Slide Away and Magic City. And then after Late Show, there was uh, Half Alive, which is a, com a combination of studio and live recordings. Then The Learning Curve, the acoustic, and then Promises, and now this Ninth Life, which is just on its way. And also there was a bootleg of a show called uh, the Broken, Live at the Broken Doll. I've done a lot of gigs in a lot of different places. Uh, I've played, played in America, Played around Europe, Belgium, Holland, Germany, France, um, Scotland, Ireland, and of course all around England and Wales. But I would say the best, the best place I played is Glasgow. 
The next project, which is more or less finished, which I'm in Glasgow now to, to wrap up, is the guitar tutorial DVD. And uh, the reason that I'm doing that is that basically I get asked the same questions, whether it be in the States or Germany or, or, or just the internet, people email, you know, they ask the same questions. Uh, guitarists tend to say that, you know, this is, how do you do this, how do you do that, and what's happening when you do that. We read this thing in the newspaper in Newcastle about win a Rory Gallagher guitar, win a Fender Stratocaster and a Vox AC30. A, a competition sponsored by Fender and judged by Rory Gallagher. And I went down there and I actually thought Rory Gallagher was going to be there, sort of watching, but the, naively. He's in Chelsea, you know, and they're going to video the tapes and take them to him, sort of thing. So I was a little bit disappointed that he wasn't there, but. Um, so I, I, I just played, I played for two minutes, the video of it. Don Gallagher, Rory's brother, told me that I think there was about a thousand people had entered and he edited it down to the press 20 and they gave the tape to Rory. And Rory picked me out of the, the remaining 20 and I won this guitar, which I've still got. Excuse me, uh, we end up Paul, Paul Rose, okay, boy? Yes. yes. Yeah, what, yeah. what did you think? Magic. Fantastic. I enjoyed it. It was good. The guy's, guitar, are, good the guy's an artist with that. He makes it sound like a violin. Yeah. Unbelievable, isn't it? It is. I mean, if I shut my eyes, it... I'm not tired of really going to If I said it was shy on camera, what would you say? We would delete it. Is that but amazing? no, mate, we're good. Don't worry about it. It's worth, it's saying, worth coming worry. in there. What's the vibe? Actually, do you know what? I would have paid 15, 20 quid. Enjoyed it. Fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you. I thought it was excellent, actually. The guitar player was brilliant. Really good. The bass player was good enough. He's for Scotland. Is he? That's how he was even better then. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I like to drum up, but we couldn't see him. Uh, yeah. you know, you see, see I was too low down, wasn't he? Too low down, I was. I did say that to the boy uh, in the way. I, I, I don't know, what's his name? Hey, Scott. It was Scott. a good band, I never could. Tell Scott, I couldn't see him. He's a couple of Scots guys, he plays here, so he plays in Newcastle. He's a Newcastle guy. He plays all over the world, you know? Yeah, but they were excellent. They were excellent. I enjoyed it. Thank you very much. As long as it's not revert, it was crap. And call it blues, rock. <laughs> Don't call it crap. You know.